Orca is the story of a, a fishing village uh, on an island, and um, every year they have a huge festival on the island, which is um, which is which involves the whole village, and they choose one of the young girls to go out and uh, onto the fishing boats and and. Uh, bless the island or keep it safe and it focuses around two sisters the older one who has um, already done this ritual and the younger one who, who is potentially going to be chosen this time and for whatever reason uh, the reasons we discover throughout the play uh, the older sister does not want her younger sister to go out and do this ritual um, so the main themes are the culpability of people as, as a group um, so what happens when a group are told something they don't want to hear and how that group is able to kind of ignore it or, or turn it into something that they can deal with. Um, and it's about how, how a village or an island or whatever that might be um, is able to ignore something that's happening under their nose uh, in a way that means that they can carry on living the lives that they want to live. Winning, yeah, winning the Papatango Prize was a, a massive shock at first because um, what I what I'd done originally was just use the deadline as a deadline for myself so I could get the play finished. But when actually finding out I'd won, it was overwhelming. Uh, but since then, it's been absolutely uh, amazing, and it's been just such an, a wonderful opportunity to do the best job I can and the best work I can on a piece of writing that I'm doing. When we spoke about the workshops we were going to do, I knew they'd be useful and I knew they'd be um, uh, something that would help the play. But I never quite realised uh, just how much that. Uh, Every day, with every every couple of minutes, we're finding out something new about the play, or or kind of cementing something. There's a couple of things I'm really looking forward to. I'm really, really looking forward to um, holding like a physical copy of the play in my hand and saying uh, I'm published. Um, that's going to be just it's a really special thing for me. And also just sitting in an audience, watching people react to what I've written. And knowing and being confident as well that I've had the time and and the assistance and the help to make it, it, it to take it to a place where it's something I'm really proud of. It's going to be a really nice experience.